the other day I was watching this video on YouTube and it was very disturbing it was I'm not going to mention any names but it was about these two people who had an online issue and they were trying to work it out and I really looked at it because both of these individuals are supposed to be successful and this is one of the things that I find to be true of myself when I am successful when I have a lot of good things going on it is extremely hard um, extremely complicated for me to be issue Latin for me to have these issues of wanting to get into a fight I'll tell you a story of something that happened years and years ago I was selling commercial office furniture and there was a guy in the office that for some reason we really didn't get along that great we didn't have fights or beefs or nothing like that but we just didn't really get along and it was kind of obvious to everyone else around for some reason we just didn't get along and um <clears throat> we didn't like have beefs or fight and stuff it was just very clear that we were not fond of each other right and um one of the things that i did and i remember wasn't my first big deal my first big deal i got so hyped i went out and bought a new car but my second deal i got all the salesmen a gift card to chops and these gift cards were like 150 and there was like seven sales people so this gift cost me a grand so i was just out and i waited until a meeting i was like hey just to celebrate my recent success i got all of you boom 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 and i like handed out all the cards and when i handed a card to the guy that I supposedly had beef with, people were kind of shocked. And I was like, yeah, you know, just, you know, you guys have been talking to me, showing me stuff. I want to say I really appreciate it. And um, he picked it up and he looked at it. Then he looked at the guy next to him and saw it was the same thing. And what proceeded to happen after that gift because you know I just didn't do it for him I did it for everyone and I put it out there everyone everyone's like oh man thank you thank you thank you and um, <clears throat> about a week later there's a knock on my door and this guy and he sits down and he says hey I think I have a really good lead for you that's not working out for me and I was like why isn't it working out for you and he told me these were black customers and uh, <laughs> I started laughing I don't think it's you per se and he, he he sat down and he told me some stuff that had happened to him and it became very clear it was because he was white and I was like really so what I did is I took over the lead and I went in and I, it was one of the easiest closes I've ever had in my life and um, he gave me that deal so essentially he gave me about fifty thousand dollars that that's what my commission out the deal was he gave me fifty thousand dollars a fifty thousand dollar deal because I gave him a hundred and fifty dollar gift card and um, after that deal I went ahead and I took him out to dinner, him and his uh, wife and kids. I was just like, bring everybody, you know, just everybody, you know. So I, I was dating this girl at the time and I took her and we went out 
had a conversation, found out his wife was pregnant, found out, and I got to know a lot about this guy who, once again, it was just clear that we were not getting along in the early days, but after the gift card, after he gave me the deal, this guy and I started to work together and I was able to like, I got a few observations because this was after I had asked all of these people that had turned me down why I didn't get the lead. And I saw some of these same things with him and I just kind of shared it with him and we began to work together. And um, he started making more money. I started making more money. And, you know, I tell you this story that I actually think, and this is just my opinion, I don't have any proof positive of this, but I think that these two got together and created that beef as a way to draw more attention to both themselves in this online space because, you know, fortunately for me, I was financially successful before YouTube and I see a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense from a real world practical situation. Doesn't make any sense, doesn't make any sense at all. But when you go ahead and you look at what happens in this online space, when you go ahead and look and see how people treat each other, then it makes a lot of sense. And I would not be surprised, once again, I'm not mentioning no names. I have no proof. It is just a casual observation of seeing how these people are acting and behaving in an online space that makes me think that this was rigged. Which now brings me to the next point. Why will people rig online fights in certain spaces? You will see people rig, set up, have certain annoyances in certain communities because it gets more attention and it gets you more drama. And in the case of some of the things I have seen this gets you more sales. Now, once again, I reset this channel because number one, I didn't enjoy the conversations I was having. I didn't enjoy having the conversations that I had with a particular ilk of the channel. And you know, frankly, I just got sick and tired of it because as I, I will tell you, I was successful before YouTube. I was successful out here in the real world. And I see a lot of stuff online that would not make sense in the real world unless you're in the hip hop, the ghetto, or that community. It, it just makes no sense. I remember one of my lead generators, this guy was a commercial real estate agent, and I used to get a lot of good leads from him. And for some reason, he just kind of went nuts and he got fired. And they would never, I don't care who I talked to or mentioned or brought up his name, if they knew him, not one person would say anything negative about this guy, wouldn't say nothing. And that was my experience out here in the real world. This was my experience out here in doing certain things. And I consistently see people going out here, getting themselves involved in particular situations with no real ramification to why they're in this type of behavior. And please put in the comments, why did we see this behavior? Because one of the, like, like I said, this, this was a reason that I'm resetting the whole network, resetting, doing every, just doing everything, changing up everything. Because I consistently see 
this kind of attitude, this kind of behavior, because I could not even listen to the whole thing. It was just so full of trash, garbage, meaningless conversations that uh, I just pulled myself out because I, I just could not remain part of this situation. I could not be remain. It was, it was just so hypocritical, egotistical. It was just stupid. And both of these guys supposedly, and I'm saying supposedly, I know one of them is making money because I actually know where he lives. And um, one of the things that I consistently see in this internet space genre is the pushing of the ego, the population, the, 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 the push of the ego, the it's like ego is so important versus actually having real success. Real success, being out here in the world, making money, doing what you need to do to be a successful man in this internet space. I consistently see people not doing the things that they need to do to be successful. I see a lot of backbiting. I see a lot of hostility. I see a lot of uh, drama. I see a lot of um, just craziness. And once again, I don't see energy or methodologies of real world success. Now, once again, I really believe that these two got together and just created this beef because that's, you know, just really knowing how real business people act and conduct themselves. That's the only thing that makes sense to me at the moment. That's the only thing that makes sense to me right now with the drama, with the whole thing that is going on. Because one of the things that um, I really look at is long-term success. I don't want to give you guys some short-term stuff. I want to give you guys the elements, the creativity, the, the whole makeup of long-term business success tactics versus just put, putting some stuff out to give you something that's going to placate you and it's not going to have the impact of long-term dedicated success, which is one of the things that I consistently see. I consistently see a bunch of hype. I consistently see uh, a lot of, in my opinion, crazy stuff. And I consistently see this all over line and I see it in the black community. I consistently see this. The guy who created the Dilbert cartoon for newspapers said some very Expose inflammatory stuff about why white people need to stay away from black folks. How a lot of black folks do not believe that a lot of white folks have any consideration for them. And um, I listened to it, and it got me to be very open to listening to certain conversations, listening to certain impacts, because I actually listened to it, and a lot of the things that he talked about, I knew to be true. And it is, it is very hostile how certain people talk about another group of people with little to no fanfare, with little to no 
concept to the whole ideal of being successful, being happy, being wealthy, learning how to do certain things, learning how to put together certain things. And I, I consistently see this stuff all over YouTube. And I know, and that's one of the reasons I don't participate in it, because for you to be long-term successful, for you to have a good application in life, is going to be pretty much based upon principles, it's going to be pretty much based upon philosophy, and it's going to be pretty much based upon morals. And let's kind of get into morals. About two years ago, I put up a video talking about how I felt that R. Kelly was um, targeted. And I talked about my own feelings and things I've done. And I had a lot of black content. 95% of the content creators were making content about me were black content creators. And one of the things that I realized is the sooner that I wanted this over, the sooner I had to stop talking about it because they were so keen on me. And if you notice, it's pretty much over. Every now and then you'll get someone like, oh, Glendon, I know who you really are. It's like, because I got some better trim than you ever got, okay? If that's what you want to talk about, even though this video is about business, okay. And I, I consistently see, if you notice, didn't go after anyone, didn't sue anyone, because I wanted it to be over. If I had did the things that would seem natural and on par, the thing would still be going on today. This is a lesson, and that wasn't the first time something like that happened to me. Wasn't the first time. Uh, hopefully it'll be the last time, but you got to understand that people need to really understand the world and what the world is made of. I did that video, pissed off a lot of people, and for the person who is successful, who's making money, they're like, hey, I don't like that video, not a fan of that guy. That would have been it. But for the folks who consistently made videos, for the folks who consistently dug, I made a video to saying distinctly and clearly that I wasn't going to sue anybody. And then I had a whole bunch of people put up videos, Glennon Cameron's going to sue me. Even though I made it abundantly clear, whoa, even though I made it abundantly clear that I wasn't going to sue anyone because it it was just stupid. It was just a stupid application of money to go after people who don't have any money. It just made no sense to me. But this is one of the things that I've learned and this is one of the things that uh, I have put myself on and I'm positioned myself because as I have learned, as I have begun to operate, as I have begun to get a deeper understanding of what's going on in my universe, I see a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense for real world applications. It just doesn't. So I'll be having more conversations like this. I'll be talking to you guys a lot more like this. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just changing it all up. Making some big, big moves. Doing some things a little differently. And creating a better situation for myself in my business. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. And I will see you guys in the next one.